Hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Allison. I'm the Coffee Native Creative and I love everything planners, journals, art, and everything between. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, thanks for coming back. So today this video is going to be a little different than a lot of the stuff I've done historically in the past few months. And the reason why is because it is going to be an ode to the weeks, <laughs> the Hobonichi weeks. Now, if you are um, just looking for sort of the layout idea of this, because that will be the second half of this, I will timestamp it for you right here. So you can go directly to that portion to see like how I set up the weeks now. Um, but for those of you who are interested in like watching the evolution of how people have planned and or are new to weeks or thinking about buying a weeks, I'm going to share just briefly sort of what I've learned, what I love, how I've used the weeks um, for the past two years and going into my third year, 2021. Okay, um, so I'm going to move this aside because that's for later. As I said, I've been in the Hobonichi Weeks. This will be my third year, 2021. Um, and I only have one. I've only used one. And I use it as an everyday carry. Um, meaning it's what I take out of the house. That's how I define an everyday carry. So the reason why I love the Weeks, there's a few reasons. But one is because it's super portable. The whole year is there. I used to be a bullet journaler. And... I'll share that in another video maybe, but basically this was like the happy medium, neutral, but compact, and I didn't have to necessarily set stuff up, but it gave me a lot of freedom to be creative if I wanted to. So um, this one was my first one, my my first baby, um, and it started in 2019. It's actually a March start. So for those of you who don't know, Hobonichi releases a second round of planners that start in March, April. I think they do it in like January, February. Um, so at this point I had tried something probably in January. It didn't work or I realized I wanted to change or I think this was also when the weeks was like super hot in the planner community. And so I decided to get one. One thing I do and I will continue to do is I decorate the inside, meaning I will use, you know, anything that comes along my way or sometimes like this year I had all the sticker. I already did it. Um, it kind of depends. My old Instagram handle was the bubbly planner, but um, I just have things that I want to see at the beginning of the first couple pages. And then um, historically, I have really failed at the tracker pages, so I tend to then glue them together. So that's why mine goes straight from the calendar to the monthly view. And I'll show you what it looks like. That's why I wanted to show you now because before I start really digging into the new one and wanted to show you what it looks like. Anyways, so this would be what my um, monthly generally looks like. I would use washi, uh, put some color in, and this would just be all sort of like my commitments. And then um, I tended to do the same similar system, if not very different like aesthetics each week. And that it was, um, Anything that I needed to remember that was happening like outside of work um, and generally outside of the home or something that I had to do like in the time when I wasn't working would go here. So like a call I committed to in this case back in the day, I had some drinks with with a friend, went on a bus tour, um, things like that. So then my to do's would be here. So like, you know, anybody I had to pay or um things I wanted to give people or whatever. So this is pretty much how I would do it, you know, the whole entire time. And then I would use the back for notes and things of that nature. And then I would decorate um, the last few pages as well. So that's how I would do it. Um, and I loved it and I love it. Um, I still love it. It was a very useful situation. I mean, it would get kind of beat up. Um, it would be in a leather cover, cover, but you know, it literally went with me everywhere I went. Um, so in 2020, as we know, this year was a little different than many years, or at least what we expected. Um, again, cover on cover, love this cover. Actually, this, this was one, <laughs> this particular year, oftentimes I'll hum, hum and haw, like which cover speaks to me, like which week's cover speaks to me. And this one was like, I saw it, I knew I wanted it and it was like done. Okay. Um, but again, I, um, just 
decorated the front a couple pages Ooh. for fun. Um, and then again, my tracking was so not working that I ripped out one of the whole pages. So historically, and again, I, I haven't, I haven't touched it. I think I, I got to like about here using it to track my weight. Ugh. So anyways, and then I would go into the monthlies again, very similar look. Um, this year I had them look similar in terms of like the outside. There's a little difference in variation, but you know, again, um, not a lot of, not a lot of, um, variance in terms of over the year. And then 2020 happened. <laughs> so if you will notice, this one is a lot thinner because I didn't go anywhere. So, um, actually from March to May, I ripped out the pages, um, cause I was just not using it at all. And then, um, I started to have to leave the house more and I started using it very much like I had been using it before, um, things like that. But honestly, it wasn't working for me. So I had, st I've started, and this is probably like the past six weeks, I've been using a new layout, um, which I'm going to show you in my new one, um, because I, I don't necessarily want all the, they're all used, right? So I want to show you like a, a blank one. But again, I would decorate. I use a lot of these like um, pages where I don't know what it says as just like places to stick stickers. Um, yeah. So that was my weeks in 2020, which we're still in. But I'm going to pretty much 100% be in this from now on. So this is what this type of cover is what I would... I am always in, so this would always be in this type of cover. I have a few different ones, but this is the general um, just of it. This is by Christina's Leather. I will link her below. I really love her. She's a small shop that I pretty much buy all my covers from um, because I think they're reasonably priced. I think that the service is amazing. I can customize what I want, and yeah, I just love it. So um, I don't know if you can see, but this one actually has my name on it, um, but... Uh, I take public transportation generally. It's been different this year, but I would keep my CTA pass in here. And then um, all of my cards in here, which I've taken out because I knew I was going to do this video. So this is 2021. And this is my weeks that is just getting started. And I have, again, the cover on cover. So this is sort of a vintage -y floral I'll put the name of it right here. And then on top of it is the Shanti. I think it's Shanti, but I'll put the name of it here, cover on cover. So it's like monsters on top of flowers. For some reason that like fits me right now. Um, so I really like it. And then this pen loop um, is from Amazon and there are a bunch of different colors. So I'll link those below too, okay? I always like having a pen loop, um, of course. I have already um, started decorating this. So this is my decorations thus far. If there's anything you wanna know where I got it, let me know. Um, this is Little Raven Ink, Courtney Diaz. This, These are from Redbubble. This is from, these are from Coco Daisy. They're free printables. Um, again, Little Raven's Ink. This is from Pam at Pocket Journal Pam. And I bought this on Redbubble. So that's just like things that inspire me. This again is out of the house. This is at work. This is where I want to be like really inspired to be a great leader in person. So um, then we have the calendar pages. Um, I covered up this because it's a key that I can't understand. And then this is 2020, which I never refer back to the past years in this way. Um, I stamped these because I decided, you know, I like to have, know like May. Okay. It's a little easier, um, especially on the go when you're trying to like make a quick decision. And I got this on Redbubble. This is Coco Daisy as well. And this is Little Raven Ink. I love Star Trek. So Janeway is, you know, pretty amazing if you watch Star Trek. Um, all right. So here's the infamous tracker pages. These I have historically not figured out how to make work for me. As you saw in previous ones, they were glued together. I am still 
hoping that I can make use of them. And then this is my plan for how I decorate my monthlies this this uh, time. Again, it's a lot simpler, so I'm, I'm really trying to simplify, but it's still colorful. I mean, I need it to be colorful. There's no plants because there's no plants. <laughs> when I am using the back for my goals, which I'll share maybe later, um, and then just some things that I want to track. So I just use these. I usually don't use them all. I definitely don't need the mega um, because I there's plenty of notes in the back. So this is the empty weeks page. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed this up and do the layout and then show you what I did um, and why. Um, this is how I set up my weeks now. It's a lot different. Um, just to give you a quick overview of what I use, this was a sticker book I got on Amazon that I use to um, store my character stickers, just a few of them. I'm really trained to use my things, so this makes it easier. This was a, this is simply gilded, gilded washi. Um, and this is a Midori... Um, ruler slash stencil that I got on jet pens <clears throat> and this is a Sarasa zebra Sarasa clip in the vintage pack color okay um oh and then last but not least these are the sailor Shikiori um, brush twin fine pens that I recently got too so I'll link everything below if I can I'll try and if there's anything that's not linked that you want to know about let me know oh and then this little character sticker is from an old shop that I don't think is around anymore <laughs> um but I'll try to put it in the description if it's still still around so basically what is this what what is this what are these lines for <laughs> 
Um, I have started using the weeks not only to track like what I do out of the house, but also my food and my health, my weight, my spending, and my, my to-dos in a modified Alistair method, I believe it's called. Um, the Stitchy, Stitchy Witch, I'll link her below too, but she uses this. And when I saw this, I really got inspired because I liked it a lot. Rather than just having a list of things to do, there are things that I want to make sure I'm doing all the time. And because I am flipping from home to work so much, like physically work, um, I wanted a place where I could go to like just tick things off no matter where I was. So this has been really working for me. So in this green portion, I actually weigh myself every day. Um, I've not been making a lot of gains in that department. Well, <laughs> maybe I have, but basically I, I have a lot of work to do in order to get to sort of a better, healthier place. But I do like to weigh myself every day if I remember, if I can, because it helps me sort of see the correlation. And then I am also tracking food and health, but like not to the like extent that there's the, the you know, calorie count, uh, count that wouldn't have enough space here, but it's just sort of like a general reminder of what I ate. And then here is where I will put anything in terms of like things that I have to do. Um, honestly, I don't have anything to do this week besides on Tuesday. Um, I am back. Um, at work in the building. Um, and then Thursday I'm at work. Now I work Monday through Friday, often on the weekends, you know, eight to five, six depends. Um, so this is just meaning I'm at work. Um, and then this is the weekend. So over here is kind of the part that's kind of been the game changer for me. And this is that Alistair method. So what I do is rather than having a bunch of stickers to track things I'm trying to do. Oh, I just thought of one. I need to drink water. Um, having a bunch of to-do lists, there's things that I want to make sure I'm doing regularly, like as a habit. So this is a way that I can track if I've done it. So if I've taken the medicine I need to take, then I put a dot. If I've made some PhD progress, I'm working on dissertation, I put a little dot. If I've weighed in, I put a little dot. If I've moved my body in an intentional way, I put a little dot. If I've done like a low-ish spend, I do a dot. Um, then there's some other things. These are more like, you know, I don't know, um, they can change. But right now I really want to have Christmas fun because uh, we're getting to December and like you saw before, there aren't a lot of plans. So I'm trying to be intentional about having small, fun Christmas things happening at home. So if that happens, I'm going to put a dot and then tidying up a dot. Happy mail, if I sent it or received it, I'll put a dot. Um, if I've done anything for this channel, a dot, swap, if I've sent, so I do have some swaps that I have to do this week. Um, they're, they should be sent out by Tuesday, actually. Um, they're washi swaps. So I'll put the dot as to when I actually did it, um, got it done. Um, I try to be creative every day so I can put a dot those days, daily pages, meaning like morning and morning and meditation and nighttime reflection. If I've done those, um, but no pressure there. I don't do it every day. That's for sure. Um, and then like you saw me add drinking water. I need to really drink water. I've been letting myself get pretty dehydrated. So anyways, the reason why I like this is because it's really functional. Oh, and in this little, this little gap, I try to track my like n unnecessary purchases of things that I've like just bought because, um, or I haven't, I'm not perfect at this part, right? But you know, things that are like for me, things that I just want versus what I need. I won't put like grocery bills on here, but I'd like to get to the point where I do. Okay. Um, anyways, this is been a really useful setup for me. I love having the washi on the bottom because it gives me a little bit of that vibe of wanting to look at it. I mean, that's the big piece of why I decorate is because I want to look at especially my functional planners and then a cute little character. Um, this will help me get my character stickers used. And, you know, after weeks and weeks and weeks, you know, they'll get used um, before I purchase any more. And it's just a really easy way for me to to kind of work on the things that I want to work on. I love being creative. I love um, doing these fun hobby things, but I also need to do the things that are going to help me have the life that I want to have. Um, 
and I love the life I do have. It's not that I want to change everything, but you know, I'm a goal oriented person and I want to keep moving forward. So this helps me for that. Um, so anyways, I wanted to share this with you because I thought that it was something that's working for me. And if it's working for me, maybe it'll work for you too, or a version of it. Maybe you want to put your total spending if you're trying to really focus on the low spend or, you know, the number of hours you spend reading books because you love reading books or like, I mean, I, I'm even thinking like you could log how many ounces your brand new baby, you know, consumes and things like that. I mean, gosh, I'm glad those days are over for me, but you know, um, there's so many, we've got so many things we have to keep track of in our lives. And so, um, I hope that you've gained something from this. If nothing else, you've, uh, gotten to know me a bit better and how I'm going to use this thing. Um, you know, if I switch it up or if you want to see me do this again, of course I'd be happy to, but, um, my goal is to really keep this sort of going until it really stops working, um, for a lot of reasons. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really love that, you know, I can share this with you. So happy planning, <laughs> happy creating. Um, have a great start to your new weeks if you are one of those January start folks. And um, any tips, tricks, things you want to see, let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. It makes my day. Seriously. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.